Hello and welcome back everyone. My name is Deluxe and you can call me D4. Today we're going to be talking about 15 more facts in Red Dead Redemption 2 that you may not have known before the game comes out. Not only that, but we also have a giveaway. If you haven't checked out the giveaway, the links will be at the top of the description so you can go win yourself a free copy of Red Dead Redemption 2 either on the Xbox One or PlayStation 4. Alright guys, jumping into our first fact of the day, we have Arthur can shoot up in the air to scare people, can scare animals, he can also try to warn other people that he's coming. It's not just a regular miss and shoot, it's actually an action where you can shoot up in the air with your gun, so I thought that was pretty neat. Number two on the list is Arthur's going to be able to use a whistle, and he can use that whistle as long as he has the breath to do it. So he can whistle and whistle and whistle until he runs out of breath. That whistle can be used to attract the attention of a deer or any other animal that he's trying to shoot. They'll lift their head up, and he can take the shot to get a different angle on that deer or that other animal. So I thought that was pretty cool as well, that the whistle can be used for many different things. Not just calling your horse, which was a big thing in Red Dead Redemption 1, where if you whistled, your horse would come for miles and he would come to you now that's not the case if you whistle and your horse is not really really close then he's not coming to you uh he can't just come all the way across the ramp so i thought that was pretty neat we found out number three this week from a bunch of outlets that got to actually play the game and we're talking about the map they said the red dead redemption one map is going to be back in red dead redemption 2 but just extended which is going to be awesome because you're going to get to see all the same cities that you did in Red Dead Redemption 1, which makes a lot of sense because, remember, this game happened before Red Dead Redemption 1 on the timeline, so that's really, really cool to see in Red Dead Redemption 2. Number four on our list also comes from the news outlets that people that actually got to play the game and what they said is when they ran into NPCs and they had these random events happen, they actually were rewarded for the good deeds that they did. So if they did a good deed, sometimes it was immediate reward and sometimes it would be later on. So a guy ended up saying that he helped a guy not get bit by a snake bite. Later on, that guy ended up giving him a gun at the store, which is really cool because he helped him get saved by a snake. And one thing that was an option for him to help him to get rid of the snake bite as he had to suck out the venom so that was something really cool as well that they added to the game so I thought that was really neat also one thing that I want to throw on there they said when they were playing the game as well which I thought was just a crazy addition uh, of how interactive this map was they said there was a bird that flew into Arthur's head and the bird died so that's going to cause for some funny moments also if a bird runs into another object and they just die or something like that happens that's going to be pretty cool too you can see horses jump off cliffs or anything random can happen in this game and that's what I'm really looking forward to in this game so that's a really cool little fact too this next one a lot of people are really intrigued about and how far extensive it's going to actually go and that's the customization portion of this game now what they said is there's going to be a certain system found that you can pick up materials as you're going throughout the map and then you'll end up being able to craft stuff like guns and different ammo and a lot of different stuff throughout the game which i thought was really cool not only are you working towards picking up things for you to eat and survive but also for you to create and craft so that's pretty cool too as i've talked about in my multiplayer video this next little thing is going to be imperative to making funny moments videos and that is that you're gonna be able to pick up bodies not only from animals but actual people in this and they said that you could throw them into rivers you could throw them into fires and see what they do um, I'm really excited about this because I feel like there's gonna be a lot of ragdoll systems That's gonna be pretty hilarious when you actually pick up a body and start manipulating see what it can actually do So I'm excited about this part I know it's something little but picking up bodies is something that we haven't been able to do in the last one And I'm really excited about it in this one I know we've talked a lot about the horses in this game The horses are a imperative part of your daily life on Red Dead Redemption 2 they said so much so that if your horse is not broken in all the way or your horse doesn't feel comfortable around people, that horse can actually kick people because you end up killing them or injuring them really badly. They said also uh, another little fact that I wanted to add to this that Arthur can actually kick people from the horse. Um, what I mean is if he's riding the horse and he can ride by and actually kick people off their horse or kick people that are on the ground and actually injure or kill them as well. So I thought that was two little fun facts that you could do with your horse. Your horse can kick people and you can kick people from your horse. 
staying on that same topic of the horses, a lot of people are wondering about how you can make money on the game. And they said a big portion of the big money is going to be from horse auctions. That you can go get a horse, tame the horse, put it on auction, sell the horse, and go buy horses that you want to upgrade your horse to what you actually need for what kind of stuff you do on Red Dead Redemption 2. So I thought that was cool. There's going to be a lot of horse auctions, and it's going to be a big part of how you make money on the game. The little things that Red Dead Redemption 2 bring to the table are going to be insane. And another one that they've really said and we've found confirmation of is that you're going to be able to name your horse. I know that sounds something silly, but it brings that personalization to you and your horse that we talked about, that bond that's really going to carry you through the game. But not only that, but you're going to be able to brand your horse. So they're going to be able to put a letter, I think a symbol. So we'll see. We've seen a couple letters be branded on horses to know whose horse is what and what's going on with that horse. In my last Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we talked about roping and how it was a really fun part in Red Dead Redemption 1 and we wanted to bring it back. We have confirmation that not only are you going to be able to rope people in the single player, but you're also going to be able to tie people up to objects, whether that is a pole or whether that is to another thing that could end up, you know, really injuring or hurting. I'll just leave that out there in the open, what you would want to tie someone up to. What would you tie someone up to if you could there in Red Dead Redemption 2? I'll just leave it at that. So leave that in the comments, please. All right, I know this is something little and we all kind of expected it, but it is confirmed through the people that got to play the game that you will not be able to see the whole map when you enter the game. You have to actually explore the whole map. It's just like GTA 5 where there is fog over the portions that you haven't been to. So you're going to have to go in and you're going to have to explore these areas to actually uncover to exactly what is on the actual map of Red Dead Redemption 2, which I'm excited about to see all the new areas that they add to the game. One thing I talked about in my first Red Dead Redemption 2 video is that there's going to be secret rooms. Now this is confirmed that there are many types of secret rooms. There was one room that uh, a player accessed to go to a poker game. There was one that him and a lady friend went into and I'll leave it at that. But there's a lot of secret rooms that you can go into and that has to be according to how well you get along with the people or how much you are hated. So secret rooms are going to be a thing into those big towns and also the little towns as well. This last thing we knew, we just didn't know exactly what it was going to be. So the PS4 people, 30 days in advance, are going to be able to get the Grizzly outfit, which looks pretty cool, the Arabian horse, and then just saddle that goes with it, which is going to be a gator skin saddle that's going to be able to help your attributes towards your horse, and then also a double action revolver that's the high roller skin, which looks pretty cool too, and I'll picture those on screen so you guys can see that. That's all for the PS4, 30 days in advance, and uh, that's going to be for some of this is single player some of it is multiplayer but thank you guys for coming along with these 15 more facts on red dead redemption 2 we are really close for this game coming out and i hope you guys are excited too don't forget to enter the giveaway leave a like on this video leave a comment on what you guys are looking forward to i love your face don't forget to subscribe as well it's an easy button to click you just hit it and then you don't have to hit it again because you'll be notified every time one of these videos go live i love your face guys and i'll see you guys next time